Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, I am going to learn one more very useful and interesting component is called tree view. On this tree view, we can use to create dashboard type of application also. So, how we can design this tree view and how we can use it that we are going to learn. So, just uh, I create here, just my snippet I used here for title. Here I import the material UI in box. And then you see we have this and I say here that MUI tree view example. Now here. I take a stack and in this stack I say spacing equal to 3 I say direction equal to row and under this I will use and I import this stack and here I will use my tree view for that I say tree view and I need to import this import tree view from MUI at the rate MUI and I say lab then I say tree view then one more I copy and I take here tree item like this I save it now uh, tree so we have this import error because I have to use it separately without using these brackets. Save this. Uh, now uh, I have tree view. So for making a tree, here I am taking some array. So I say const uh, tree tree heading. Here I take in this array these heading I say uh, my I say slider that I want to display for this then I have a portal that I want to display then I say a stepper that I want to display then I say uh, we have a model that I want to display like that I have some item only four I am taking but you may take more also uh, now in this inside this uh, I take uh, tree heading dot map so that I will take inside the brackets I take bracket like this and here I say tree heading dot map and inside this map uh, I have uh, this arrow function like that so uh, here I have this bracket and uh, so I take here this bracket close we have function bracket then I have this bracket and this bracket then I have here a tree one tree item tree item and I have index also and then here I will use uh, tree item so I say tree item here here I have a node ID so in node ID I provide index then I have a label here and I provide in tree item as a label and I close this tree save this and you will see that we have such kind of tree structure but I will provide here some more information in tree view uh, that information is I say default uh, default expand icon so already I have expand icon already I have here expand more icon expand more icon so uh, I need to provide as a component like that then I have default collapse icon then I provide here collapse default collapse icon like this save it I have 
uh, I need to provide this icon so I say uh, here copy and uh, I provide this icon here save this now you see that I refresh it for that uh, what I do I take under box layout and uh, in this box layout I put this tree view and I give here width of this equal to 20% save this you see now I want to provide some internal item to this tree view because I want to show these icon also those I have used here for that uh, I need to create one more constant array I say subheading and here I provide I say slider 1 because it will open slider I say portal 1 means one portal I want to open I say stepper 1 and then I say model 1 save this now inside this label here I use one more tree item because then it will look like a tree then I say node ID of this is a tree I say equal to tree subheading subheading and here I pass index then I say label of this is same I provide this information as a label also and then I make self closing you see now you see we have this stepper and I click here we have tree also you see it looking like a tree so slider 1 slider 2 portal 1 portal 2 means we can open multiple slider also here that is different thing how you can open you can insert any number of heading any number of subheading but with the help of uh, these map function i am trying to use this screen now on a click of this i want to open these components that i want to do for that we have one more uh, feature i say on we have on node selected or select and here I will provide handle select function so this function will pass the selected item for that I have this function so uh, this function I create here I say const handle select then what I do here I have event and I have selected tree selected tree and here I have one state variable so I say const I say active tree set active tree equal to use a state use a state and here I provide set active tree I say selected tree like this now active tree I want to use for active tree what I do I create one more box layout here and in this box layout I say the width of this box layout would be of 80% remember and here I will use a component that I am going to create so I say const show tree component equal to arrow function and here I pass props and here I say const then we have children then I have a, a active tree then I have selected tree I say props then I say return I say dev tag 
under this div tag i have uh, this option i say if active tree equal to equal to selected tree then i want to display this box with with margin of 2 and under this i will display my children this is the way and here i say hidden property and here i say active tree not equal to equal to selected tree save this save this now this show tree component i want to use for that i will pass this here i say uh, show tree component and here i pass active tree this active tree is the value which i have active tree and we have selected tree value is the first value which i have that value i have slider one so i pass here the same value slider one remember now i make multiple copy four copy of this and i save it now in this uh, slider one the next one is portal one then stepper one then model one so i say stepper one then i say model one stepper one and portal one model one so i say here portal one i say stepper one i say model one save this now you see the magic if it will work and i click on slider i need to open here slider so how it will open i provide this inside this so i just do this and i just show tree component so i copy this and i paste here and i paste here and i paste here also and i save this now inside this first i have slider so i take mui slider component and then i have here mui we have a portal component like this then i have mui stepper component then i have mui model component now i just import one by one so uh, these portal component i will use like this then i have stepper also then i make copy of this so i have model also here i say model then i have next one is slider stepper model portal so we have portal also we have a stepper also model also one is remaining that is a slider that is slider so i say slider here i say slider save this so done now we try to open it refresh it first of all and now you see the magic here so i just click on portal one so portal is open i click on a stepper one so stepper is open you see working i click on model one then model one is open you see like this like slider one we can open slider also you see so here in the left side we have the tree component on the right side we have this value you see like we have in dashboard also here 20 percent size i given to this and 80 percent i given to this so like that way you see we are 
just using a tree view an item of this so right now you see it is everything is working so like that we have create tree view and we try to design a small dashboard type of application we can customize more and i will make one video also on the dashboard project i will make a dashboard project by using material ui when i will get a time so then i will show how you can create this dashboard also so, but if you if you want to use in your application or your website such kind of interface so you can use tree also you can use drawer also and we have an inbuilt component of dashboard to try to make this sliders we can use that also i think i explain you in a better way how you can use tree view also in material ui if you like it if you learn something please do subscribe thank you for watching this